Hello, and welcome back to Monster Hunter Generations, where I've decided what I'm going to be doing now. And it's going to be trying to get myself to HR7. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. Now, we are going to start with this one right here, because I need some Celtus Queen parts, both to upgrade this armor further, and also to upgrade my Nargakuga weapon. Which... You know, it'll have some white sharp and some good raw and really good affinity, and I kind of want all of those things. And we ought to be fine. Just bring those in case. And off we go. Hopefully this Celtus... I, I already ate, by the way. Hopefully this Celtus Queen will be kind enough to give me all the things I need for the Narga sword, at least. The armor would also be nice, but that needs different things. Uh, the armor, I think, needs carapaces, or maybe it's crescents. And then the weapon needs whatever the other thing is. There's a face. Well, one hit on it. I know I shouldn't have been just smashing my sword against it. I should have brought deodorant. That's what I should have brought. I knew I was forgetting something. Well, we got defense downed, but it's not really doing much to us. Because she is content in just using that. And got a face break because she was just letting us. And we dodged the smell. And just barely managed to sneak that in there. Uh-oh. Okay, dodged much too early there. Did not work in our favor. What, you want to drop her on me? Okay, you succeeded. G good job, Celtus. You, you did it. It was done by you. And now he is off. Dodge too early. I often forget just how slow Celtus Queen is for most things. But then there's other things she does very fast, like that water blast she just did. I actually find it kind of cute, because uh, in 4U, there were a lot of multi-monster quests that had Celtus and Celtus Queen. And they often, from what I can recall, said, hunt all large monsters. And in this game, I noticed that quests like that say, hunt all large monsters except Celtus. Which, you kind of feel bad for the poor guy, but whatever. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. I guess she diverted his path just enough for us there. Ooh. I do enjoy getting free refills instead of getting hurt badly. Wow, I broke his horn while he was on her? No, I broke something else. What did I break? Well, now I'm right. Maybe I did break his horn. I just wasn't seeing it from the right angle. Because his horn is certainly broken now. And I don't even have to care that he's shaking. And I'll just leave him there. Go for her. Uh, 
And here's some of this. And I need meter. I also need sharpness. But hey, got my meter. Now I can afford to spend the time sharpening. Because I would lose a lot of meter if I decided to sharpen while it wasn't glowy. Lost a little health, but hey, we're sharp again. Having fun there, lady? There's her tail, which was apparently the sub. I wasn't even paying attention. I just wanted the tail because I needed the crescents. So, we've broken everything but three legs, from what I can tell. Yeah, whatever. Can't believe we managed to dodge both of his assaults there. I really shouldn't have used this. Wonder if we can bring him down. Nah. I don't know why I wasted my Sakura Slash just then. Okay, lady. We've business, you and I. Don't know what it was I dodged there, whether it was her or him, but it was something. Unfortunately, it didn't end up helping me any because I missed with my spirit slash and I dodged right into that oh boy well they allowed us to live that's always appreciated So let's see if we can't break these other legs. I mean, we don't really need to. As far as I'm aware. Wow. Yeah, I dodged that way too early, like every time. And we don't really need to break the other legs as far as I'm aware, but... I mean, it makes things more symmetrical. Ooh, just barely managed to get in there in time for the uh, adept dodge to go. Must have been at, like, the last frames. Okay. I was not properly reading her. I don't want that sparkly. But I also kind of want to not die. And I feel like that takes priority. Got the hit. Need more meter. Of course, I just wasted some meter. Ooh, another sparkly. Maybe not such a waste after all. Did get a flinch. Meter, please. There we go. So, this sparkly was the first one created, I believe. Oh, just barely got it in time. And it was a carapace, which is one of the things we need at least one of. Celtus, that was rude. And another carapace. I'm pretty sure carapaces are the ones we need more of. So, you know, that's not a huge issue that we're getting a couple of those. And there goes another leg, and the Celtus is off her back. Dodged much too early. goes another leg, just one left, and then we're done breaking her. 
Dang it. Celtus, why couldn't you block that for me? Okay. Ooh, she is tired. I was kind of hoping for a ride there, but I guess it wasn't to be, considering we didn't even get a ride hit. Okay, we are done breaking things on her as far as I can tell. Where is she even going? Did she decide to leave to a different place after having her leg broken? Let's follow her. Oh, she's mad now. Was kind of worried one of those Kelbys would totally take that hit, but guess not. Or is she mad? Sometimes it's hard to tell, because the signal for her being mad is her mouth steams, and the signal for her being tired is her mouth drips. And it looked like it was steaming when we first came in. But I guess that was a different kind of mouth steam? Whoa there. smelly. That is not good for us because we don't have a cat with a detox horn. Detox horn is amazing. The ability to remove stink not being the least of the reasons why. But let's go ahead and just use the bed. That'll get our stink gone and heal us up. Two in one. Wonder if supplies have arrived already. They have, and I am taking them. Because I would rather not use my own things if I can get away with it. There we are. Okay, well, need another one. There we go. Glad I dodged that. Now, let's get some meter. That was close. Ooh, hitting both of them at once is a great way to get meter. Fill our gauge. Knocked him off. Would be nice if we got to see her eating him, but I'm glad I've already at least gotten a Celtus or a Desert Celtus Queen eating her little man on camera before. So, since he is... No, no, don't, don't. I was going to say, since he isn't on her back, we can get her in this pit, but... Then he decided to go right for it. Well, let's fill up our meter on him. Oh, I've been grabbed. He sure didn't get to do much. And she is leaving. Didn't look like she was limping, but then again, I wasn't really looking at her, now was I? Uh, 
And let's get rid of this water blight. There we go. Wow, five first aid med pluses? That is nice. So let's get some meter. And then we'll just go ahead and plop this right down here. I mean, sure, you can do that. Really, Celtus? Are you serious right now? I should really get used to actually using the item shortcuts on the touchscreen. I'm too used to searching for them. I never really used those in For You. So it's taking some getting used to. I mean, seriously, I put those there so that I'd be able to get at the things I like to use more quickly. And yet I still end up searching for them, which takes much more time. Yeah, you didn't like that, did you? Oh, you didn't like that one either? Really, Celtus? All right, lady. You must die. Probably not going to do it in here, though. How about you? Will you die in here? Ooh, he might. I'm gonna try and kill him, just because. I think I need his parts for something or other. Yeah, it looks like he's getting out. Now, will he go to join her, or will he go to where he sleeps? He went to join her. Okay. Makes sense. Really? You're going to limp towards me and then pull that? And now she's limping away. Might as well work on him until she... Or rather, until he leaves or dies. Not until she does anything. She's already done in here, and he is now quite dead. So now we gotta go find her. No dragons here. I didn't paint her, but I'm pretty sure she goes into the cave. Hopefully, that is accurate. Because if it is, we'll have a nice easy time finding her. Yep, it is. So there she is. She's upset. But she's going to take some smacks to the face. Or to the whatever, and then she's going to be dead. Okay. Give me some crescents. More carapace. And more carapace. Yeah, I think it's carapace for the armor, in which case we need five total, and we've gotten four already. Well, at least shining charms are better than mystery charms. Speak of the devil. Nothing else we can get. Uh, 
Okay, give me some crescents. I am not seeing many crescents. Got one crescent that I can tell. That I was paying attention for. And... Nothing really worthwhile. Hooray. Well, let's go see what it was we needed for what. But I'm betting it's two crescents for the sword and then carapaces for the armor. Um, it's in here somewhere. Oh, it's that one right there. Yep, needed one more crescent. Look at that. I want it. I want it. So that means we can upgrade the armor. Oh yeah, easy. And that's a pretty good armor upgrade. That's as good as we're getting until we start getting the heavy armor spheres. And we're gonna be wearing pretty much just this armor for probably until we get a real end game set. Because honestly, the skills on this are not half bad. And now that we've got even more defense, yeah, we're doing pretty all right. So, that's going to be it for this episode. Join us next time when we do another key quest. See you then, friends.